All right, let's talk about cleaning the tap lines. So each one of these tap lines has, uh, tap handles has lines associated with them. And on the lines, there are tags to tell you which beer is which. So this is kind of weird that this is all the way over here because that's four, so that should be over here. We want to try to get it to where the lines don't crisscross so we know that all the right beers are on the right side so that when we're disconnecting everything, it's easier to put things back in place. But I also recommend not taking things off until you're ready to clean it. How you do want to start though is by disengaging. So you're going to push down, pull out, and lift up. That's to disengage the kegs. You want to go ahead and disengage all of the kegs so that you don't run into any issues. So an important thing of being efficient is getting everything set up and organized. All right, so we're gonna push down, gonna pull out. All right, can you see that? Push down, pull out, disengage. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna push down, pull out, disengage. So you gotta do the two. It's push and a pull. All right, from there we're gonna take the first line that we're gonna clean. We're gonna pull it off. Okay, yes, pull off. All right. You always wanna give everything a nice, good sani spray so keep your sanitizer handy. The cloth to catch anything on the sides. Always wanna be clean and sanitary at all times because we don't wanna run the risk of contamination. If we contaminate the parts, we can contaminate the beer. All right, so now this head here is gonna get attached to your cleaner and then we're going to pump. I grab the stool for height. I have my cleaner keg and I have my dump keg which is what we're gonna have everything rinse off into. We're not gonna put the beer directly into that keg because we can use that cleaner. So we're gonna wait until the line is clean. I generally go to about a half gallon until I see that it's flush and clean. And then I will switch it out and it'll go directly back in there so we can have nice clean cleaner. Okay, so I wanna just point out one more time why it's important that we disengage the kegs. So there can be a mistake where you pull a line. So you see this keg is all the way over here and this is, it was attached to four. So we could have pulled a line and say, you could say to yourself, oh, I pulled off the first keg and then you open this and you start pulling the first tap line and that's gonna get you in trouble because now you're pouring beer, you're not pouring cleaner. So that's why you wanna disengage everything um, inside so that no matter what handle you pull, you're not pulling beer. So I'm not gonna get beer out of any of these whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and keep them inside so I know which is which. But it's actually, at this point, it wouldn't really matter because you're cleaning all the lines. The only reason why I wanna make sure I wanna keep these where they are is because we already have tags on them and the, the bartenders are already used to where a certain beer is, so I don't wanna confuse anyone. But if you're running this yourself, again, try to keep it, keep these lines close to where the beer is, but always when you're cleaning, disengage. All right, now let's clean.